before I start this rant, now, I just want to just acknowledge the the victims that that um, that experienced the one the shooting and stuff within 48 hours, which is just like three days and stuff. Um, the victims on um, the Sterling family, the Castell family, and also the um, the Dart and Dallas police officers that was um, part of the the shooting last night. I just want to want to take time out to acknowledge these families and um do you have my condolences and you also have have my prayers and everything as well now uh today in this on um, rant series we're going to continue talking about talking about you are the antichrist in this um in this part four where we're going to talk about i want to want to kind of just stir this into another direction uh, due to everything that's been going on and stuff. Uh, I want to kind of want to stir it into the, another direction, which is still going to be on topic. The direction I'm going to stir it to is, is talking about the power of fear. Now, um, I want to address about the, the power of fear because I know within these uh, past 48 hours, um, I've been, uh, been, not been uh, silent on Facebook. Not be, not because um, not because I didn't have nothing to say or anything like that, but I just been observing all the comments and all the concerns and everything that's that's been uh, spread it on on my newsfeed of everything that's going on. Uh, we we have different emotions that's going on right now. We have emotions of um, uh, anger, of course. We have emotions of fear. Uh, we have emotions of resentment. We have emotions of oppression um, we, we we have even emotions of injustice as well all these different type of emotions that's that's going on right now within the within the past 48 hours now one thing about me that uh, many of you if you if you like really close to me on especially like my immediate family and stuff on um, one thing that you'll know for certain about me is that I do have a strong um, spirit of discernment, meaning that um, the type of discernment that I have is that I can literally sense the whole change of energy or change of the atmosphere, you know, even before it even happens. So, and I have the ability to sense that and know um, if there's something shifting and stuff, if the atmosphere is shifting something either in a positive way or in a negative way, which in this case it was uh, in a negative way. And stuff. So, right right now in this on um, rant, um, I'm um, I'm going to address not the issues that's going on, not about the one the the you know the the movements and stuff like that. I'm not really targeting on that right now and stuff because I feel that um, addressing about that that particular thing um, right now um, for us. For us, me addressing the body is, is an irrelevant right now because we already have people that are already out there right now. They're um, they're focusing on the different issues. Uh, they're focusing on uh, legal and political rights as well and stuff. And I just honestly feel that um, by me just talking about it and stuff, you know what I'm saying, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be doing this offering my opinion about it. You know what I'm saying? And I won't be uh, qualified to actually, you know, give a full statement about everything that's going on and, you know, the movements and all the stuff there. And so, but however, I am qualified to give a spiritual perspective about everything that's going on, which hence this is the reason why I've been putting out these rants about the Antichrist and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And, and the reason why I'm, I know I'm qualified to uh, address the spiritual aspect of it is because obviously the Most High God qualified me to do that and stuff, you know what I'm saying? That's obvious. You know what I'm saying? So another and also, you know, um legally I'm qualified to do it as well and stuff too. And stuff. So with uh with, without that without further ado, let me um, go deeper into this um this rent topic now. Now, the last time I was talking to y'all about the one the characteristics of, of the Antichrist and stuff, and I was telling y'all um that you have to watch out for the characteristics of the Antichrist. I was telling I was telling y'all that um um, if um, 
if anything, it, it don't matter if it's a, if it don't matter if it's a political movement, it don't matter if it's a person, it don't matter if it's an ideal, it don't matter if it's religion, um, or whatever it is, stuff right. Anything that goes against the divine order, what the Most High God has placed in us, you know, which is obvious in the obvious divine order, is this uh, anything that um that that will um, benefit you positive, uh, physically, mentally. Um, spiritually and also dealing with nature itself and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Anything that goes against that order, then that's considered the characteristics of the Antichrist. And I made um, a statement with in my last um, rant, so I made a statement and stuff um, stating that even in these um, different movements, on uh, different movements like, um, you know, Black Life, it don't matter whether it's Black Life Matters, All Life Matters, Who Matters, Death Matters, whatever matters and stuff, you know what I'm saying? The the, uh, the design of the movements is within the pure or heart, you know what I'm saying, which I totally agree with and stuff. But also with stuff like, you know what I'm saying, no, but if the intent of any movements that's going on is going against the divine order of the, of the Most High, what's going to cause, um, cause chaos, it's going to cause misunderstanding, it's going to um, cause confusion, uh, it's going to cause separation, uh, if it causes um, uh, not only separation, it causes um, oppression. Then that's then that movement or anything or ideal or whatever it is is a sign of the Antichrist. That's the characteristics of the Antichrist. Point blank. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no um, no one great area around it. Ain't no none of that. It's exactly what it is. The stuff. So I know y'all, y'all, uh, I know uh, some y'all, y'all viewing this right now, and uh, you know some of y'all probably emotional about this stuff like that, and then y'all trying to want uh, figure out, well, what is you saying and stuff like so, so you don't think um, black life matters, you don't think uh, our life matters and stuff like that. Of course, um, of course, uh, I believe that black lives matter, and I also agree with the movement behind it, the positive movement behind black life matters, which the movement is clearly defining. Is this is that the movement is is given given um, the United States a word that's, that is a problem that's happening within the African American community. The uh, the problem in the African American community is this is that they be racially profiled. Whenever you racially profile an individual, you instantly put them in a state of fear and oppression. So I'm totally totally um, against putting people individuality in a state of oppression or in fear that is not right and that's injustice and that needs to be addressed so the movement behind itself I totally agree with the movement and stuff because it's needed and these things been happening for you know just by over a, over a century within the African American community even within the slave uh, era and stuff like that has been going on and it needs to be addressed there is it is truthfully it is some um, a lot of profiling it, it is a lot of um, less privileges that's within the African American community and stuff. That is given. That is the truth. Statistically, that is true. Also, but however, it's stuff, you know what I'm saying? If we're going to, uh, if we address this issue, we have to address the issue, not just what the, what I just said, but we have to address the, the whole issue, the whole piece of the pie issue and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And the whole piece of the pie issue is this, is that uh, true, there is profiling and all this stuff there, but also it's stuff, you know what I'm saying? There has to be a accountability within the African American community, within the black community as well. What I mean about accountability and stuff, the accountability is this, is that you need to understand the, understand the weapons that are put forth to you spiritually and stuff. Understand this. There are things out there. So there, there, um, there are shows out there in the media. There's music that you listen to. There's lifestyles that that you live and stuff like that. That's honestly goes accordingly against the divine order of the Most High God and stuff. And that's given. That's truth and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, case in point, example. You know, if we um look at the music industry, majority of the music industries consists of what African American men and women. Then what, what do they put out there within the music and stuff? They put out there uh, music that's um, either um, degrading women, um, degrading men, degrading their culture and stuff, making their culture look 
um, inferior, you know what I'm saying? Um, then on top of that, um, it, it lowers the value of, of a family and stuff as well and stuff. It make it um, the scene like the, the value of family in a, in a community is low. It's irrelevant and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And that's not only in the music industry, but that's also in the media. Movies that we watch, plays that we look at and stuff. It does, it's the same as that thing and stuff. So now I wonder, since these things have been putting out into the media and stuff, portraying this image of, of, of African American or black people and stuff like that and stuff, of course, people are being programmed to thinking that that's how it really is and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Let me give you another example of what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, many of, of many of us and stuff, right? We're we're natives to um, Texas and stuff, right? We're born and raised, bred in Texas, stuff like that. Do you know that people from from other parts of the nation, even in, even other parts of the world, they they uh they see Texas as being a country state. They see Texas as uh you know um. People with um, wearing cowboy hats all the time, uh, you know, with the cowboy boots, running around shooting um, sharpshooter guns and stuff like that. You want to know why they think like that? It's because of the media that's been betrayed out there about Texas. And so, so they portray Texas this, that way. Same thing about people in New York or California or whatever stuff, right? The media portray them in a certain way, and we in Texas view them a certain way because what can we, the media portray them to be? Likewise, that's what happens in, within the African American community is that the media portrays the uh, African American community the same exact way, um, which is you know people who are less educated, which who, who are ignorant, um, who who don't who uh, who don't care about their community at all or their families, who um who 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 are single mothers who don't have. Um, a strong foundational family value system, which which consists of a husband, a wife, and children, with God being the center of the, of the whole family background and stuff. You know what I'm saying? We have single mothers, we have fathers who who are on um, who's on child support. Not only they're now not only they be on child support, we have fathers as well who are locked up in in the, in the prison system as well. We have our youth portraying to be thugs and gangsters and stuff, right? We have them walking around, you know, sagging their pants and stuff like that, thinking this cool is a fad, fad and stuff like that, or whatever you want to call it and stuff. That's the reality of how people view black people or the African American community and stuff. So this go back to what I'm saying about the accountability. See, it's cool that we we um uh, we're expressing is is being expressed and stuff like that, but it also has to be accountability as well. It's that the accountability needs to take place into a community. Uh, I was uh, seeing uh, people on my um on my Facebook um page and stuff like that. You know, what I'm saying they was asking like, uh, well, you know, what well, what needs to be done? You know, oh man, you know, I fear for my um my children life and stuff like that and stuff like that you know what I'm saying but I want to um tell tell you this is you know what I'm saying uh even about fear now the thing about fear is this is that I want to tell you and I want to share this on um, quote with you now this quote came uh this quote came from the movie uh after earth and stuff on um, Will Smith quoted this movie uh quoted this in the movie after earth and I'm sure this quote which it says this you must realize that fear is not real it is a product of thoughts you create. Don't misunderstand me. The danger is very much real, but fear is a choice. Fear is a choice. Fear is an absolute choice. You know what I'm saying? So, so in other words, well, when I'm seeing people talking about that, it's stuff to my, you know, they fear this and fear that, you know, we're in the end times and all this stuff there and stuff. The word of God simply says that God don't give you a spirit of fear. But it gives you a give gives you a love, power, and a sound mind. What is the sound mind talking about? That's talking about you making a choice. You can either choose to fear or you choose not to fear. Fear is a choice. It's an absolute choice. Same thing with the emotion, same thing with the one concept about love. Love is also a choice as well. You know what I'm saying? We choose to love who we want to love and we choose not to love who we don't want to love and stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's in the same concept. Itself too, you know what I'm saying? 
So, so, so that's why I'm saying with this now. Now back to um this um back to what I want to talk about the accountability and stuff. Now I know I'm kind of everywhere, but back to the accountability part and stuff too. Now once again and stuff, you know what I'm saying? There has to be accountability and stuff for real and stuff. Um, um, believe it or not, change has to come. Where do change starts? Change starts within your own household. It'll be impossible for you to want to create a movement um, saying that that um, Black Lives Matter or All Lives Matter or whatever it is that you moving on and stuff, right? It'll be impossible for you to um for that movement to be in order the way that it needs to be in order if your own house ain't in order. When I'm talking about, about your own house being in order, first of all, when I'm talking about your own house being in order, the Bible speaks about uh, a person whose individual individuality they could they um they use the term a temple. They use your they use the one term being a temple. So if your temple, your body or your mind is not in order first, it's gonna be impossible for you to even phantom the movement. Period and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So first you have to get yourself in order and stuff. So you gotta get your mind, body, and spirit in order first before you can even open your mouth or even talk about um, doing any type of movement. You know what I'm saying? Because if not, then y'all see what, what happened, you know, in my in the city I live in, in Dallas and stuff, right? What ended up happening stuff? They end up having a uh, protest in Dallas and at the end of the protest, some person came out and started um, shooting and stuff. A sniper person started going on and shooting and stuff like that. The reason why is because that person temple was not in order. His house was not in order. Sitting up here responding on fear, responding on how he feels and stuff that he feels that that is right and justifiable and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Anything, any evil, anything evil, evil intent is wrong. It don't matter what it is and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Whether if, well, for a police officer to um, shoot a person, or what if a person shoot a police officer uh, unjustly, uh, with without cause and stuff like that. In other words, you know what I'm saying? It's wrong. You know what I'm saying? The Bible clearly states in the Bible, Quran, um, and every other religion documentation book states that you should not kill or you should not murder. Is given that is that simple. It's so you should not kill or you should not murder. It's that simple. You know what I'm saying? If you have a tent of harming somebody of your movement, where where you trying to harm somebody or trying to uh, destroy their character, destroy who they are, and all the stuff there, then your movement is of the Antichrist. It's just that simple. It's stuff. So you have an Antichrist mentality and stuff, and it's just that simple and stuff. You know. So I then like I said, I know I, I know I'm still talking and, and stuff like that. I even went to scripture about this and stuff, yeah, because um the, like I say, um many people they they've been waiting on me to, to, to address about this issue and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So here I am addressing about it. But in in a way and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um now just just like I say with anything, any movement, anything like that and stuff, your temple has to be in order, your house has to be in order. You got to take care of your house first. That's the number one priority. You got to train yourself first, then train your house up next and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Then you go out into your community and start building your community up and stuff. You know what I'm saying? The number one thing that fails in the black community is this, is because we're not together at all about the things that we do. We're so divided. We're so separated and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we, we, um, many of us been so programmed and stuff to, to have a, um, have a mentality. In other words, have this independent mentality and stuff like that where you can't even even if you want to do a movement and stuff like you've seen uh within the 48 hours even if you want to do a movement it's not going to be successful because your house is not in order and people have a people is not together in other words and stuff you know what i'm saying unity is very important and stuff look at all these other movements Matter of fact, look at the one white supremacist movement and stuff um look at the one the kkk and all these other one movies that movements that are out there right now and stuff they're strong 
because of their unity and stuff. You know what I'm saying? What they believe in. They all have a common enemy, a common threat, and they unify together all for the simple fact so they can want to voice their opinion and make things be heard and stuff just like that. That's simple. But within the um the uh, African American and black community, we're not even together because we because we we don't even truthfully we don't even trust each other and stuff. You know what I'm saying? That all stuff. We don't trust each other, nor that we even love each other to the point of uh want to help each other out and stuff. Case in point about this too and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the Bible clearly um, talks about you on uh, loving your neighbor as you love Christ and stuff like that and stuff. Many of us, we agree with that and stuff. But however, action speaks louder than words. When was the last time how you just um, walk and just talk to your neighbors and stuff like that? And just, you know what I'm saying, fellowship with your neighbors. When was the last time how you um, went to, well, when your neighbor was in need and stuff, they they need to, um, they're in a need, they about to get ready to get evicted out of their um uh, house or apartment or whatever or need a light bill paid or whatever stuff like that when was the last time you actually took your time out and helped them when was the last time you did that but i'm pretty sure that many and many of you um will most undoubtedly will go to your church house and stuff like that will give your 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 um your earnings to the church and stuff on um, because for the simple fact because you feel first of all that's what God told you to do and second of all because you want your blessing and stuff too and stuff you know what I'm saying and yes I am going there and stuff you know what I'm saying with however your neighbor is sitting up here suffering your neighbor is on suffering your neighbor is sick your neighbor is hungry and stuff like that and you want to even take the time out to even remotely check on your neighbor to conversate with your neighbor i bet right now many of you you're, you're in your neighborhoods right now and stuff like that you probably don't even know who your neighbor is you'll see them every single day but don't even know who they are never even remotely even try to talk to them or conversate with them or anything like that or just uh, show them your love and concern or anything like that and stuff you know what i'm saying i'm pretty sure many of you have done it matter of fact I'm going to even go here and stuff, even within your own church house and stuff, you know what I'm saying, where you go worship at and stuff. I'm pretty sure, you know what I'm saying, uh, many of y'all, y'all, you know, y'all go, y'all do y'all kumbaya thing and stuff like that, your praise and worship thing. Get your, get your, one, your um, 10, uh, one hour fix and leave and stuff, right, and come back and not change. And, and then on top of that and stuff, right, the people that you see in your church, them are part of your neighbors and stuff like that. But you don't even say nothing to them. You you probably won't even say nothing to them while they at church and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Let them know them outside of the neighborhood and stuff unless you know them and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But even if you know them and stuff, you still not quote-unquote fellowship with them unless they did something for you and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So all these things that I'm mentioning and stuff right now and stuff, these are things that has to happen and stuff. These are things that needs to um uh, it needs to be addressed. It needs to change. Not only just uh the the uh, the the political system or other uh, or, or the police force and stuff like that about them um. Um, you know what I'm saying, doing what they doing, stuff like that. But change have to come first from the individual and stuff. And 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 I know I was mentioning about the you know the African American black community, but this thing ties with everyone and stuff as well and stuff. You know what I'm saying, your own individuality and stuff as well and stuff. You know what I'm saying. Um, personally, you know what I'm saying. Um, I, I personally um uh feel feel and believe that um that even within the police force and stuff like that, I, I honestly feel that. The police force should um, increase their uh, psychological examinations and stuff to at least either twice a week or every month to reevaluate the people who are, who are on the force and stuff to make sure that they are mentally capable of, you know what I'm saying, protecting and serving the citizens and stuff. Because believe it or not, many of the police officers that are they're serve they're uh, serving the community and stuff like that. They recently uh, served within the military as well and stuff too. They serve in the armed bran arm branches and stuff like that as well and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, you know, and that like I say, that is my personal opinion. But I believe that you know they should go through a psychological evaluation at least twice a week or or even a month and stuff for a psycho evaluation to make sure that they. Uh, sane enough to protect and serve the citizens and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know, so um, 
Now, like I say, I know this. I know I'm I'm really running today and stuff. Um, but you know, just like just like I say, it does so um. In other words, it it just it's account of like I say, it's accountability that needs to happen with all of us and stuff like that. With every last one of us, you know, so with you um, uh, no matter your gender, no matter your um creed, no matter your your race, no matter your lifestyle preferences, no matter um what it is and stuff. You know, what I'm saying that's it's accountability in in everything and stuff. You know, what I'm saying if if you not if you don't consider the accountability, if you don't consider uh, actually reevaluating re yourself and stuff, you know what I'm saying, and changing your mind, just like the Bible say, to renew your mind and stuff. If, you, if you're if you not uh, taking accountability to renew your mind and stuff, uh, where, where you where you want to sink um, uh, with, with the Creator, uh, you, you seek with the Creator mentally and, and uh, spiritually and stuff like that, and be in sync with your neighbors and stuff like that, mentally and spiritually as well and stuff, then, then just like I said about the movies, you're actually truly are the problem and stuff, you know what I'm saying? You are the problem, and to be honest with you, you are the Antichrist and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So... Um, just like say, um, I know I haven't did scriptures and stuff like that stuff because I did it in other rant and stuff. But like, um, I'm gonna continue on with with uh, this um this rant topic and stuff like that and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But um, until then, this this um until then um, I just want I just want to uh, also want to let everyone know that prayer is the most important, powerful tool that. Uh, humankind possesses and stuff. If you don't believe in the power of prayer, then then I sub then I submit to you today that you need to find out the power of prayer. You need to find out what how powerful prayer is and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, matter of fact, you know what I'm saying. Before I close this on rent and stuff, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna um, share with you how how strong the power of prayer is and stuff. I'm gonna let you know. How strong the power of prayer is. Do you know that uh, when we speak and stuff, right, it carries a certain energy or a certain frequency and stuff, right? And this thing that I'm talking about, it's, talk, it's talking about more of an esoteric, metaphysical thing, but it's still the truth and stuff. When we speak, we carry a certain frequency and stuff, you know what I'm saying, a certain energy. That's why it says, uh, that's, that's why... Um, when the Bible in the book of James is talking about the power of the tongue and stuff, right? It say the power of the tongue you either can bless someone and or can curse someone and stuff. In other words, it can either give out positive energy or it can give out negative energy. It depends on how you use it and stuff. That's the same thing about the power of prayer. When you pray, it gives out either a positive energy, depending on what you're praying about, it gives a positive energy or a negative energy and stuff like that and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And that, that energy turns into a frequency that transmits all the way to the heavens and stuff, right? And to, to the um, and to the creator. The creator receives the message just like how we receive email and Wi-Fi and all the stuff there and stuff, right? You know what I'm saying? Receives the message and it returns back to us and stuff. This is the whole concept about, you know, when, when um, uh, church people, they say when the blessings comes up, uh, when, when the praises comes up, the blessings come down. It's in that same concept and stuff as well. It's stuff too and stuff. It's the frequency that's that's been transmitted and received and be re, re, transmitted and be re received again and stuff. So the power of prayer is very important. So I so I want to submit to everyone today, no matter what, what you believe in, no matter your your belief or whatever, um, your own gender, your race, your lifestyle, whatever. I submit to everyone today that um, this nation do needs to uh, to to receive that power of prayer. I know it's people who are they're out in downtown right now praying and stuff like that. Uh, and I had watched one on the cast with um, T.D. Jakes uh, call, calling a, a power of prayer and stuff too yesterday and stuff too. And I know it's many other one ministers and pastors and teachers and master teachers and you know individuals that are doing the same thing. I want to want to submit that that uh, we we could keep continuing to do that because the the things that are happening right now it's not natural at all. It's the but it's spiritual. 
It's stuff you have to understand that it's stuff too. It's spiritual and it's affecting every ranks and stuff. It's affecting the government. It's suspect, uh, affecting the political ranks. It's affecting even the uh, the citizens of this nation and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I submit to y'all today that y'all um take the time out and consider the prayer. Pray, pray for the, pray for this nation. Pray where you, pray for where you live in. Because unfortunately, you live in this nation. So why not pray for your land? And stuff, you know what I'm saying? Pray for pray for your land. Pray for your neighbors. Pray for your um pray for the ones who um leading over you and stuff. That they have a sound mind and righteous heart and decision. If they don't, then they you know what I'm saying. Pray that their minds will be changed where they can and do what's um and bring justice, what justice needs to be served in every area possible and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Pray for that and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Don't just try to pray. You know, just for your house, and you want to get a car and all the stuff there. Pray for stuff that matters. If you if you saying that you know what I'm saying black life matter, our life matters, and stuff like that. Prayer life matters and stuff. You know what I'm saying as well. You know what I'm saying. So pray for the things that's important and stuff. Pray for these people. Pray for their minds will change and stuff. Pray that the one uh, enemy will will um uh let let loose of these people um mindsets and stuff like that and stuff you know what I'm saying where they um where they no longer ain't being puppets being controlled and stuff like that and stuff where their minds will be renewed you know what I'm saying and to the most high God and stuff you know so so that's that's all I have time for this on the streaming long ramp um until then like always and I do mean this for the bottom of my heart even in these times fight faith with faith God bless y'all